In this video, we will discuss the problem sequence fun. The problem says that we have a sequence that is 2, 5, 16 and 65 and so on. And we'll be given the value of n as an input and we have to return the nth value of this particular sequence. So suppose if we have been given 2, then we have been given 5. After that, we have been given the next number of the sequence as 16 and then we have been given 65 and so on. So basically, we'll be given a value n and we have to find the nth term of this particular sequence. This is the first term, 5 is the second term, 16 is the third term and 65 is the fourth term of this particular sequence. Now, what can we observe? So, if we will try to observe this particular question, so we can simply say that initially, initially we can say that our subsequence will start from 2. Now, if we see this is the next number, so how can we generate the next number? So, if we will see, suppose that the i value is 2 here, right? This is the basically if I talk about i is equal to 2, that is the second value, second term that I want to generate. So, I can say that whatever previous term I have generated till now, that was 2. If I multiply it with i, that is i is equal to 2 here, so that is why I'll multiply it with 2 and then I'll add a 1 to it. So, I'll get what? I'll get 5 and that is what I need here, okay? So, that is how I'll generate the second term. Let's see if it works for the other terms as well or not. Now, if you will observe, i is equal to 3. So, if I want to generate the third term here. So, the third term is going to be nothing but what? 5 into i plus 1 kind of thing. So, that is not nothing but 5 into i. i value is 3 because I am generating the third term plus 1. So, you can see that I am getting 15 plus 1 that is 16 here, right? So, that's how I am generating the third term as well. If I will see further, so now i is equal to 4. So, if I want to generate the fourth term. So, the fourth term is nothing but the previous term, whatever was the previous term, into i plus 1 again, right? The general formula for this series is nothing but previous uh, term that I have generated uh, into the i value, the ith term that I want to generate plus 1, right? So, here what I will do is, I will simply say that the previous term was 16 into the current term that I want to generate, that is the fourth term plus 1. So, you can see that I will get 64 plus 1, that is going to be nothing but 65. Right, so that's how I'm going to generate the fourth term as well, and so on and so forth. I'll generate. So I can simply say that the uh, that the nth term would be nothing but the previous term, just just the previous term into the uh, into the ith term that I want to generate. Right, the ith uh, term of this particular sequence will be nothing but previous term into i plus one. Right, that is the formula for this particular question. So we can simply say what we can simply say that what we can uh, do here is we can start writing the code, and we can simply say that. Initially, for the very beginning, we can mark our answer as, let's say, long, uh, long uh, int answer is equal to 2. Basically, we'll say that the first term is going to be 2 and the rest of the terms, the ith term, we'll try to generate and the ith term will be nothing but uh, answer into i plus 1, right? So, basically, what we can do here is we can simply say that for uh, int, i is going to start from 2 and i is less or equal to n because I want to generate the nth, nth term. Right. So, I can simply say that answer is equal to nothing but answer into i plus 1. Okay. That is how I'll keep on updating the answer. And in the end, we can simply say that we can return the answer as well. But there is a catch for this particular problem. If you will read the problem statement further, so it says that you have to do the modulo with 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So, for that, we need to declare a modulo as well. So, we'll simply say that int uh, mod is equal to 1 e 9 plus 7. That is nothing but 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Okay. Now, after doing this, what we need to do is, we need to basically take the modulo. So, what we'll do here is, we'll simply say that we'll apply the modulo here. That is when we are multiplying A with B. So, after that, we'll take the modulo, right? And another modulo we need to take when we'll add the value up. So, we need to take the modulo here as well. So, basically, we'll take the modulo to, take, to uh, return the answer 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Now, let's try and compile this code to see if it works on the samples or not. It works on the samples. You can see that the fourth term of the series is 65. That is what we are getting. And you can see that we are we have applied the concept that the ith term is nothing but the previous term that I have calculated so far into i value plus 1. And I am taking the modulo here. Now, let's try and submit this code to see if it works or not. So, you can clearly observe that our solution was able to pass all the test cases that were given in this particular problem. Now, talking about the time complexity of this approach. So, since we are uh, going and generating the nth term, so that's why the time complexity, since we are iterating and generating all the terms till the nth term, so the time complexity will be order of n. And the space complexity, since we are not taking any extra space and not any data structure, not any uh, space, 
of recursive on anything so that's why the uh, space complexity is going to be order of one if you understood this uh, simple explanation make sure to hit the like button comment down understood as well in the comment section and make sure to subscribe the channel as well thank you for watching this video and keep coding